Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how I created this car flying through glass animation in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.92 nice. Now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating a ground plane. So go to this add mesh select a plane. So press S on the keyboard and increase the scaling here. So now let me increase the scaling in X axis. So press S and X and increase the scale in X axis. Nice. So now let's import our 3D car model. So I have downloaded this car model from free3d.com. Download link in the description if you want to download the same. So go to this file now import it is an object file so come to this wave front click on that select that wave front obj and select your model so here i think yeah this is the model and import obj so here you can see we got our car model so i think i need to increase the scaling of this so press s x and also press s y increase the scaling in y axis also okay nice so now let me select this car model and let me place this here okay fine so now go to this add mesh select a cube so press s and increase the scaling and let me increase the scaling in y axis also select this tool select this rotate tool press one and let me rotate this here like this and also let me place this here so this is going to be the jump base for our car okay so now let's create glass so go to this add once again mesh select the cube so let me place the cube here so press s y and increase the scaling in y axis s z and increase the scaling in z axis and let me reduce the thickness here so i think this much is fine okay and let me place this glass just above to the grid here so press g z and let me place it just above to the grid here like this okay so we got our scene ready so i think press s y and increase this here okay this will be good so now let's animate the car first so select this car model b on the first frame press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location so move forward like 30 frames and move the car position like this here press i and add a keyframe for location so if i play this animation you can see we got this kind of animation but the speed is not constant it starts with the slow pace and ends with the slow pace so we don't want that kind of speed so go to this graph editor key interpolation mode and select this linear so let me move back to this timeline so if i play this now we'll get constant speed here if you want to increase the speed select this second keyframe and reduce the distance between the keyframe here so now if i play this let me show you so it will be moving fast okay so now let's add a rigid body property onto this car model so select this car model come to this physics property add rigid body so now if i play this the car will be falling down on the next frame itself because we have added keyframe animation for this movement of the car so we need to enable this animated option also so let me move on to this 17th 16th let me come to the 17th frame only and check on this animated option enable it and add a keyframe so now move one frame forward on 18th frame uncheck this and add a keyframe so on 17th frame we got this animated option enabled and we have added a keyframe and on 18th frame we have unchecked this animated option when we have added a keyframe so now if i play this we can say the car is falling down here so now select the ground plane add rigid body to that and type change it to passive so now if i play this the car will not fall down nice so now select the cube let me bring it down here okay and add a rigid body property and also change it to passive so 
now let me enable this cavity and shadow also so it will be looking good okay so if i play this you can see we got this jumping animation here nice so now let's work on this cube which is going to be the glass okay so now select the cube let's add a glass material come to this material properties add new material and surface change it to glass so if i change this to material viewport you can see this is glass so if you want to render glass here use cycles engine it will be better than ev for glass okay so now let me move here so now we need to break this glass into small pieces so for that we'll be using an add-on that will be enabled or comes with the blender itself which is called self fracture add-on so if you are not enabled that go to this edit preferences add-on and here such as cell fracture so enable this cell fracture add-on and save those preferences okay so before going to use that cell fracture add-on we need to add some subdivisions for this cube so press tab on the keyboard right click add subdivision and let me add number of cuts like 75 so these many are enough now again press tab to exit that edit mode so if we observe this here we can see our car is hitting the glass at this position so we want maximum number of pieces at this place so for that we'll be using this tool annotate tool okay so let me use that one first so select this tool and draw lines at the place where the car is hitting so if you see this these are not on the cube so these are in 3d space so let me undo that so ctrl z okay so now press n on the keyboard tool come to this tool here we got placement for this annotate change it to surface select this annotate tool and let me add this here so i'll add this here so you want more pieces here at this place okay so now come to this object quick effects cell fracture so here source limit is set to 100 this is the number of pieces the glass is going to break or the cube is going to break so i'll change this to 150 and recursion i will change this to one these are like sub scatters or sub pieces and scene collection i will give this as glass pieces okay so now hit okay here so here you can see we got the pieces here created okay so now let me select the main cube let me move this here and delete fine so we need to erase this pencil mark so long press here and select this annotate eraser and erase those things nice fine so now we need to add rigid body physics for this glass pieces also so let me select any of the piece here first let me hide out this plane and cube so now select any of the cube come to this physics property and add a rigid body so if i play this now sorry if i play this now you can see the piece will be falling down so we need to add that rigid body property to rest of the pieces so press b on the keyboard for box selection and select all the pieces make sure the first one is selected and let us select the rest of the pieces now come to this object rigid body copy from active so now each and every piece got that rigid body physics so if i play this now you can see all the pieces will be falling down nice so here you can see these pieces are falling down before the car is hitting them so we don't want that kind of animation we want the pieces to fall down when the car hits them so for that let me select any of the piece now now scroll down in this rigid body properties expand this dynamics enable this deactivation expand it and also enable this start deactivated okay so now again press b on the keyboard select rest of the pieces object rigid body copy from active so now the pieces will stay in their position until the car hits them okay if i select any of the piece here and if i check the mass it is one kg 
so the size of this piece is this much and also if i select this small piece here the mass is 1 kg for that also which is not correct so we need to recalculate the mass once again so now select all these pieces okay go to this object rigid body select this calculate mass so here we got these presets here so this is the glass so select this glass broken so now if i select this piece it is this much of kg and if i select this small piece it is this much of kg so now it is okay but the car is not passing through the glass because the car weight is 1 kg so we need to increase the weight of the car so for that let me check the this is the big piece i think so this is 15000 kg so i need to make this car i think i will increase this to 50000 kg okay so now if i play this okay now the car is able to pass through the glass so i think i will still increase the weight to 80 thousand okay so now let me bring back this ground plane and cube fine so now press a on the keyboard to select all the objects come to this object rigid body and bake to keyframes so we are converting this rigid body physics everything into keyframes so let me select this start frame one and end frame i will change this to 150 150 is enough and hit ok so now we got all the physics in the form of these keyframes ok so now if you want to have the slow mo we can select the keyframes here press s and we can increase the distance between these keyframes like this and press let me bring the first frame here press g and let me place this here so now if i play this we got slow motion here and here still if you want to have further slow-mo so come here okay at this frame so now select this rest of the keyframes here and increase the distance between these keyframes like this so now we will get this cool slow-mo here so i will reduce this here and i will increase this to 3z and i will bring them here okay so now let me see this once again nice so in this way we can create this kind of car flying through glass animation in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye